So Stoic had such an incredibly emotional send-off. How excited were you to find out that you were coming back for the third film? Yeah, I was sad when I found out I was dying. Because um, dying is sad. Um, but I thought, you're not really going to see the end of me. And, and, and he's, I, I love what stoic represents in this movie you know this is about a kid trying to find his own way in life learn to be his own man um be a leader but at the same time at those important moments he has those memories and that wisdom from his father and they're really touching poignant you'll shed a tear in this movie you can't not i've had people in hysterics behind me my, my publicist was crying like so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like Jillian, geez, it just it touches you deeply, and yet it's a lot of fun. Yeah. It's effects like you've never seen before. Going to the hidden world is puts Avatar to shame. I haven't seen the new ones, but it's it's really a, a wonderful journey. This movie has been over ten years of your life. Mm -hmm. What is it like to say goodbye? It's very sad. It's very sad. Again, Jillian, my publicist, just came in as I walked in and said, "I just walked out on the red carpet, and I'm so sad because it really is. It's the end." and um, I feel like we've made three incredible movies that have grown up with a generation and, and, and affected millions around the world, just entertained them or made them, kind of inspire them, made them more passionate about their, their, their life. It just, I, I, I feel like th these movies have all, they've been brave, they've really taken on some interesting themes and myths and, and um, you know, and, and each one I think has outdone the one before. And now it's come to an end, and there's some great friendships that we formed through this, and such pride in, in being a part of it. And this is it. But hey, it's not out yet, so you still get a chance to see the reaction, which is always fun. You should be very proud because it's an amazing movie. Yeah. Yeah. You're done.